Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to send automated WhatsApp message and SMS for Google Ads lead. So here, let's suppose that I have an event management company and to promote it, I'm using Google Ads. So here, my objective is that whenever I will receive a new lead through Google Ads, then I want to send an automated WhatsApp message along with the SMS to that lead. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these applications for which I will be using this amazing integration and automation software that is Pabli Connect. Here my trigger application will be Google Ads and my action applications will be Vati and Twilio. So here to send the WhatsApp message, I'm using Vati and to send the SMS, I'm using Twilio. So if you want to learn more about this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will understand how to send automated WhatsApp message and SMS for Google Ads lead. So here, let's suppose that I have an event management company and to promote it, I have created a lead gen form by using Google Ads. And now I want that every time I will receive a new lead through Google Ads, then I want to send an automated WhatsApp message and SMS to that lead. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these applications. So to do that, here I'm going to sign into my Pabli Connect account as I'm an existing user. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. Now this here is the all applications page by Pabli. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. This here is my dashboard and to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I'm going to give my workflow a name. So here I have named it as send automated WhatsApp message and SMS to Google leads. And on my left hand side, these are the folders that I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as Google ads. And now here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window, which consists of trigger and action. Basically trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Basically action is an automated response of your trigger application and in a workflow you can only have one trigger but multiple action. So now moving to my use case, that is to send automated WhatsApp message and SMS to Google leads. So here as I'm promoting my business with the help of Google ads. So here in this trigger window, I'm going to use Google ads as my trigger application. Here it is. And now the trigger events will be new lead form entry. So this trigger will start working whenever a new lead will be created. So I'm selecting it. So now as I've selected my trigger application, moving ahead as I want to send a WhatsApp message and a SMS. So here in this action window, I'm going to use Vati to send an automated WhatsApp message. So Vati will be my action application and the action events will be to send template message. And now here I'm going to click on this add action step. So as I also want to send a SMS to the lead. So here I'm going to use Twilio to send a SMS. And now the action event will be to send SMS message. So here as I've selected my action applications along with my trigger application. So my objective is that whenever I will receive a new lead through Google ads, then automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent and a SMS should be sent to that lead. So now to do this, firstly, moving to my trigger window, I need to establish a connection between Google ads and Pabli connect. Now to do this here, a webhook URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. So read this help desk given below carefully because this will help you to connect your Google ads account with Pabli connect. So now let me tell you that this here is the webhook URL, which will act as a bridge to connect your Google ads account with Pabli connect. So let me take you to my Google ads account. And this here is the lead form that I've created. So this is how the form looks like. This is the headline is Sparkle Evenings. The business name is Sparkle Events. And over here is the description. And these are the questions which I've asked in the form. So here you can edit this as per your requirements. Scrolling down here, I need to do the webhook integration part. So now to do this here, I need to mention the webhook URL along with the key. So from Pabli Connect, I'm going to copy this webhook URL. And now here in Google ads, I'm going to paste the same. Once this is done, now I need to mention the key. So here in this new tab, again, I'm going to paste the same webhook URL. And after the send webhook, this here is my key. So I'm going to copy it. And now here I'm going to paste the same. 
So now as I've added the webhook URL and the key over here, I'm going to click on send test data. And here you can see that the test data has been sent. That means the test lead which I've just created would have been captured in Pably Connect. So let me take you back to Pably Connect. And here you can see I have received a response. So here these are the dummy details. Because I'm not running a live campaign on my Google Ads account, therefore I could not capture the details of a real lead in Pably Connect. So here I'm going to continue this automation with this dummy response that I've received. So as I've received the details over here, moving ahead, as I want to send an automated WhatsApp message. So now to do that here, I need to establish a connection between Vati and Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on connect. And now to add a new connection, I need to mention the API endpoint and the access token. So these are the instruction given below. Read it carefully because this will help you to find the API endpoint and the access token. Taking you to my Vati account over here, I will go to API docs. And here in this API docs, this is the API endpoint. I'm going to copy it. And here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to paste the same. Now going for access token. Here I'm going to copy the access token. And in Pabli Connect, I'm going to paste it. So now I'm going to click on save. And here you can see Vati and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So now moving to these details here, I need to mention the WhatsApp number. So to do that, I'm going to use this method of mapping. Basically mapping is to insert the data from previous step. So as I've received the response from Google ads, so here I'm going to map the WhatsApp number moving to the template. So here in Vati, I will take you to the templates. And this here is the template that I've created by the name of Google lead ads. The category is marketing and the language is English. Here I've added the broadcast title as sparkle evenings. And this here is the body. It goes as, Dear, thank you for registering for the event. Get ready for an amazing evening. Thanks and regards, Sparkle Evenings. So here after Dear, I have added this custom variable. So this will keep on changing accordingly as per the new response will be received. That means after Dear, every time when I will receive a new lead, so the new lead name will be appearing here in this automated WhatsApp message. So here in Pably Connect, I'm going to select the template as Google Lead Ads. Now moving to the broadcast name. So as over here, I've mentioned the broadcast name as Sparkle Evening. So I'm going to mention the same over here in this field as Sparkle Evenings. So now moving to custom parameters. So here as after dear, I want to mention the name of the lead. So here I'm going to copy the same format from this example. And now I'm going to paste it over here. And as I want to mention the name, custom variable is for the name and the value will be the name of the lead. So as these are the dummy details which I have received. So here the first name is by the name of first name only giving a space and I'm going to map the last name as well. So I've mapped the custom parameters. So now as I've mapped all of these details, this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response with new data, so that data can be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information would have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So now here, I'm simply going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that I've received the response and this here is a positive response. That means an automated WhatsApp message would have been sent on this number. So now let me show you the WhatsApp message. So this here is the WhatsApp message that has been sent. So here after dear, you can see that we have received the details as first name and last name is mentioned successfully. This is the body. This goes as thanks and regards. That means an automated WhatsApp message has been successfully sent to the lead. So now moving back to Babli Connect over here, as I want to send a SMS message as well to that lead. So now I need to establish a connection between Twilio and Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on connect. And now to add a new connection here, I need to mention the account SID authorization token. And once again, I need to re-enter the account SID. So here in Twilio, this is the account SID. I'm going to copy it. And here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to paste it over here and here as well. Now moving to the authorization token. So here I'm going to copy the same. And here in Pabli Connect, I've pasted the authorization token. And now I'm going to click on save. Now here you can see Twilio and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. Now moving to body of the SMS. So here this is the body of the SMS which I would like to send. But after dear, I want to mention the name. 
So here, as I've received the response, so here from this dummy response, I'm going to map the dummy details. So here I'm going to mention the first name that is as first name, giving a space. I'm going to map the last name. So here, this is the body of the SMS which I want to send. And I have mapped the first name and the last name of the dummy details that I've received from the response. Moving to send a number. So here from Twilio, I'm going to copy the phone number. And here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to paste the phone number. Now here, I need to mention the recipient number. So again, from the response received, I'm going to map the dummy phone number. And now I'm going to click on Save and Send Test Request. But to send the actual message, I'm going to enter an actual number here. So now I'm going to click on Save and Send Test Request. So here you can see that I have received a response and this here is a positive response. This is the body of the message that has been sent. So now I'm going to show you the SMS. So this here is the SMS that has been sent to the Google lead. So this automation and integration is a successful one. That means now whenever a new lead will be received through Google Ads, then an automated WhatsApp message will be sent to that lead by using Vati and a SMS will be sent to that lead by using Twilio. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.